Hello, everybody. Um, it's the top of the hour, wherever you guys are located. Um, today, we are going to start our webinar. So thank you for attending today's webinar. Uh, my name is Amir Hamawi. I'm a senior BDC specialist working in the Project Delivery Services Group in Berkeley, California. Uh, so getting started, today's webinar is on positioning your model in Synchro, and will be presented by Mitchell Palmer, who has been with Synchro for almost two years. Mitchell holds a Bachelor of Science in Architectural Technology from Birmingham University, City University in England. Um, so I'm going to let him get started. If you do have any questions, please feel free to submit them in the panel, and we will answer them. All right, Mitchell, uh, you're on. Thanks, Amir, for that brilliant introduction. Now let's get started. This webinar will be on positioning your model in Synchro. This webinar will show you the different ways to position model data in Synchro. As you know, Synchro can bring in a variety of model data. For example, DWG files, DWF, FBX files, that's just a few that I've just listed there. Depending on what CAD software you are using when bringing in model data, they might not always import into its correct coordinates position. So if we go to Synchro, the main tab that we will be using is 3D properties, this tab over here, and we're going to be using the translate tab, and over here. As you can see, we have two options. We have relative and we have absolute. Relative, we translate the selected object by the entered value relative to its current position. Absolute, we translate the selected objects to the coordinate where the x, y, z values are regardless of its current position. Now there are a few ways in which you can find the coordinates of certain 3D elements in Synchro. One way is if I right click, create, and I'll go to the bottom, 3D notation in Footnote style. Now let's say if I click this point of that slab, it will give me the coordinates here of that point, the X, Y, Z coordinates. Another way is if I select this slab and click get bounding box it will give me the coordinates of this bounding box so basically it's just an imaginary box around this 3D element and it will also give me the box center which is here if I write these down as I'm going to bring in model data that I want to place in this area. So if I write down these coordinates here, now if I go to File, Import 3D, click the file that I want, go to Next, Next again, I want to translate, if I type in Press import, assign to new resource, so just go back, name it Battersea, I'm going to change it to material, resource, press next, I'm going to choose assign to this resource, don't build tree, press finish, and as you can see, it hasn't, it's imported to the box center coordinate that we imported on import. Now if I want to move this model into this outline as you can see here, if I click the model, press edit and then 
choose manipulator with snap into element now this is a new feature that has come out on our new release synchro 5.2 now I can click on a specific point of an element now I can I can now move this element There you go. Now I've positioned that model perfectly in synchro. Now I'm going to show you how to use the relative and absolute options. So I've got this building over here. I want to bring in a tower crane into Synchro. So if I go file, import 3D, add files, tower crane. Next, I don't want to bring it into those coordinates, so I want to untick that. Import, assign it to new resource, change it to equipment resource press next finish now where has this imported there it is sometimes when you bring in model data like this it can import miles away alpha here and if that's the case what you can do if I collapse this Click the 3D objects in your 3D objects, then go to 3D, and then if you press zoom to selected objects, it will zoom to that position of where you've imported your model. So now I want to move that model in here. I want to place it. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to click this 3D element get bounding box so now I want to just copy and paste these box center coordinates in here now press escape I want to click this model and this time I want to do an absolute translation so make sure I've got that selected if I press translate and as you can see <coughs> the tower crane has translated to those coordinates now if I press relative And click that 3D model, it will translate relative to its current position. As you can see here, it's moving along. And finally, another way to position move your model data in synchro is to do it manually. So I've got this 3D crane selected sorry I'm gonna right click go edit and we have this option called simple manipulator if I click on that now I can move this model that way I can move it up I can move it that way I can rotate it 
And then the other option is Advanced Manipulator, which gives you a few more options. I can move it like that. And there you go. So let's just recap everything that we've gone over through this webinar. You've got your translate options over here, relative absolute. You add in your XYZ coordinates and press translate to get to find coordinates in your model. Select your 3D element, press get boundary box and it will show you the coordinates up here. Another way is to create click one of these options and it will give you your coordinates and you can move 3D model data by edit and you have these options over here and that is the end of my webinar if you have any questions I will be here for a few minutes to answer any questions that you have thank you very much